Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a simple one. I'm going to show you guys how I make this custom wig using some bundles and a lace frontal. So if you're interested in wig making, you can keep on watching and I hope you enjoy it. So the hair I'm going to be using today is from you and I's hair on AliExpress. I have in four bundles of their 28 inches Peruvian hair and a 20 inch frontal. So you also need your thread, your needle, your dome cap, some clips, some combs. And first off, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this dome cap on my mannequin head. I like using the men's dome cap because it's lighter and it's also cheaper as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and thread my needle and tie off the end of the thread. So the next step will be for me to place my lace frontal on my mannequin head. Mind you guys, I already measured this lace frontal to my head and I cut off the excess lace. So I'm going to go ahead and use my T-pins to secure my lace frontal onto the mannequin head. To make my job easier, I'm going to go ahead and flip the hair forward and put it in a ponytail. Then I'm going to flip it back and secure the sides of the hair with some T-pins. I could never be the number one guy. I don't even mind a number two. Tell me what you want, I want it too. You know I got a special spot to help. Now that the lace frontal is secure, I'm going to go ahead and start sewing it down onto my wig cap. I'm basically just using the thread to go through the wig cap and then go through the lace. I'm just going to repeat this method throughout the perimeter of the lace frontal. Yeah. But tonight you can call my phone. Tonight you can't call me all night long Tonight I represent the guy with the money who live fast but still baby don't die young You want to make sure you're sewing down your frontal in small stitches so it's neat You want your frontal to look this neat when you're done So the next step is for me to just get my bundles I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rubber, unravel it and I'm also going to sew in double wefts so what that means is I'm sewing two wefts at a time to one line. So for this um, procedure, I'm going to go ahead and take my pin and push it through the two wefts. Making sure the needle is still through the wefts, I'm also going to go ahead and attach it to the very beginning of the nape of the wig cap. I'm just going to go ahead and sew it in, you know, going through the wig cap and through the hair. When you're sewing down your wefts, you want to pull your thread so the stitches are nice and tight you know you don't want your web to move around you want it to be nice secure and tight so I'm just going to keep on repeating the same process over and over again so to make my job easier I'm going to go ahead and secure down the end of the weave onto the wig cap so it's easier for me to sew you know when I sew down my hair, I do not like cutting my weave at all, so I like flipping it over. This is the flip over method. So I'm just going to flip it over and secure it down with my T-pins and continue to sew down the two wefts, you know, double wefts. That's what we want. So the hair is nice and full. So this is pretty much what I was able to achieve today. I only have in one bundle. I'm just I'm just going to keep on repeating the same process until I get to the very top of the hair. So now this is my last bundle, guys. And you know, I like I said before, we want to sew in double wefts. So I'm going to go ahead and put the weft together and push through and push this needle through the wefts, you know, so when I sew in my hair, it's nice and full and secure. Just like that. I'm also going to attach it to the wig cap now. I'm just going to repeat the same pattern of sewing, sewing in. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sewing in the hair. 
in double webs. Like you guys can see, there are two webs that I'm sewing at a time. You blow my mind, Mama Sita. You look so fine, oh, Carolina. Just the way you smile, it blows my mind. You look so fine. Okay, guys, now this is my last track this is the last track i have i'm just going to go ahead and sew the webs through the cap and through the lace and pull the thread that's what i'm doing the weft the cap and the lace the weft the cap and the lace so that's just how i'm sewing it in so that it's nice and closed and secure and yeah this is just what the wig looks like now that i'm done so the next step is for me to just brush out the weave and i'm going to go ahead and take out this excess we cap with my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut it right off. When you cut off this excess wee cap, you don't want to throw it away. What you want to do is just cut off the other excess part. You just want the band of the wee cap to be all you have left. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter because it's too long and we're going to go ahead and attach this to the ends of our lace frontal so that when we put our wig on it's secure it's nice the wind is not gonna blow and our wig won't fall off so yeah that's just what it is basically and it's also going to help your lace frontal stay down flat